Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So I am making some example banners of um, Pinterest pins you can do for your fiction books, right? And so I, I was downloading, I went to um, Big Stop, which is um, a stock photography site that I use. And it is not cheap. It is $100 a month, which isn't crazy. I mean, if you're going to be making a ton, of, and I get 10 a day, so you would get 300 pictures. Um, it's not cheap, but it's not terrible if you're in marketing, right? But I thought, what about for you guys that are writers and you don't have such a graphic-heavy um, place. So one of the places that has really cool free photos is Morgfile. It's called Morgfile. M-O-R-G-U-E-F-I-L-E. -E. So I was doing something a little, this, this is scary, so I'm going to do a couple of, um, see, kind of creepy. That's sort of what I was thinking of because uh, the books that I'm promoting are horror books. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how you can do both. You can do a fancy design. Um, I accept. I do accept the terms. And they downloaded it. Okay. So close. And I'm assuming it's hiding behind this thing. So we'll go back over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to um, find a Pinterest pin. So I just come here and I say Pinterest pin. And I really want one that has kind of, oh, this may be good for this. This was too busy for another one that I was thinking, but it may work out perfectly for this. Okay, so let's double click this and uh, let's uh, upload. And did you see that? Did you see how big this picture is? And they're just pulling in a teeny bit of it. That's what you really want to think about is how can you visualize a picture coming into your design? Okay, so I'm actually going to just leave that there for now. And I'm going to upload. So I need to upload my own image. And uh, let's see, I think this is it. Awesome, awesome. There's our scary hallway which is kind of what I'm going for, right? I want to have that kind of scary hallway look. Um, it's thinking about it. Is it going to come in? Oh, there we go. So scary hallway. Excellent. I don't know what that did. Oh, look, I can get even more room. That's perfect. You always want to move things around because you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so for this, I need a creepier font, right? So we need to find something a little spooky shadows in the light um horror okay we need to make that a little smaller so let's grab this edge we make it smaller nope maybe not maybe we just gotta do this there we go horror I think I'm going to say stories. Can we get stories to fit in here? Oh, look at this. Add a heading. Yay. Okay, so we need... How about this one? Oh, that's excellent. So this is good. So let's squish this down. Horror. Stories. To keep you up. all night okay and then i obviously don't want that pink i'll make that white for right now okay so that's that is excellent uh oh we gotta get the stories part in white too so let's make that white okay awesome so uh oh i lost a p it's okay never fear horror stories to keep you up all night so, when you're designing a banner, we're going to get rid of it, whatever this thing is. Can I just hit delete? I can't just hit delete. How about if I hit this? There's the garbage can. We'll do the garbage can. 
and then we'll do this horror stories to keep you up all night okay so now we also want to move this over a little bit because I I just feel like it's a little off center there we go now it's more in um, in the right way and now I need to go get a couple of books right so I'm just going to use the covers so let's do this one right click save image as um, desktop, Devil Make. Oh, look at how nice that is. They already named it the right thing. Okay, so let's go back again. And they have them all sorted. This is why I love the SPP guys, because they have everything sorted. Um, available Darkness, supposedly it's all about children in jeopardy, which is scary. So there we go. American Darkness. And let's do one. Available Darkness. And let's do one more. Ooh, invasion, invasion, that's kind of scary. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. So you want a mix of like what it actually is and then maybe something that's a little um, colorful, right? Ooh, look at this. This is nice. So that seems colorful. Save images. Okay. And then we're doing that. Okay, so let's go back over here and we need to upload those books. So we come back here to uploads. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm using um, Canva uh, desktop. Is it on desktop? There we go. There's our three books. So let's open those up. Um, I'm using a program that's free called Canva. I got a free picture, and then uh, you would use your own own pictures, your own book covers, or my best advice actually is to use um, any pictures, right? So any any books. So I would have, if I was going to do this and I didn't have the number of horror books that they have, I would have one that was pretty recognizable, mine, and then one that was maybe um, also a little bit more um, unknown. And then I would link that to... Um, my uh, Amazon. So what I do is this. So I'll do a search Amazon Tara Jacobson and you can figure out ways to do this. L link this to your Goodreads. Link this to your um, you know you can do all kinds of things. So what I did was I did Tara Jacobson Realtor. Okay. And so I was able to pull up a search, and this, this search, no matter where you go, is just going to pull up those three books. So there's lots of ways that you can figure out how to do this, right? You could figure out how to make a, like a Goodreads list. You could make, do whatever. So don't let the, the you know, mechanics of something get, you, get in your way. So let's go ahead and we'll put this one up there. Oh my gosh, look how nice that looks. Okay, can we make it fit? Uh, I, I think I want their names more than I want the picture. Um, okay, good. That's excellent. Uh, I wish their names were a little bit smaller, but let's try this. That's good. That that goes really good. And then available darkness, and I don't... Oh, that fits perfect. Okay. And so this is a really decent... I would. I think this needs to be creepier. This is This is still a little little twee okay let's see where's that other one we did that was a little let's see what works no too cute we need something creepier what do we got do 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 how about that no too cute right we need scary Where'd that scary one go? I guess we could look it up, right? But we're we're really just trying to find something that's not quite as um, cute that's more scary for this, right? So your font can absolutely help. It was this one. Okay. So we could make this a little bit bigger. I might even say, okay, let's do this, move this whole thing up, and say horror 
stories, okay, and then maybe do this to keep you up all night, right? Because the, the up all night isn't the important thing, obviously, the selling the books is, right? Okay, so this is... The perfect size for a Pinterest banner, right? So we just did that real quick. If it was just me doing it and not showing you, I would say maybe five minutes to do this. I might move this up. Okay, might move this up. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's look at it if I swapped out that girl picture, right? So let's upload... The picture I paid for and see if that's any better than the creepy um, the creepy one okay so I'm gonna have to do this to see all my creepy pictures okay so this was a scary clown I thought this one was really good Okay, remember how we can use this whole picture? So we want to make it big, right? We want to make it big. And then we, oops, where'd it go? Okay. Do we need to delete this to get to it? Okay, well, let's just do this. Where did it go? There we go. All right, so perfect. Nice. Let me just slide him over here. Oh, he's too far over. So now I gotta slide him back a little bit. And then we would just move these words down a little bit. Where's our other words? Move those down a little bit. I want him just a teeny bit even over. Nope, I went the wrong way with it. I want a teeny bit this way over. And just take your time, like you're going to be doing this. And that is pretty darn cool. Um, I might even can I get him high. Did I get him in higher? There you go. I got him higher in the page. You could do something real designery and do something like that. Um, I tend to like him centered for this one. So I would just keep wiggling him around until I got him where I wanted him. His hair is messing me up. Okay, so that is very cool. And that's something you could totally do. Um, you might even want to brand your, you know, if you have good branding. So let's say, let's do this, Command Shift 4. Um, on a Mac, Command Shift 4 lets you do this. But let's go ahead and grab their, um, their logo. And we just come back. If you have a logo, you could use it. And we're going to say, Upload Your Own Images. And all my screenshots go to my front page. And that's just going to take a second to upload. We can pull this over here, right? And then just actually, I might ah. <laughs> Okay, so there's also an undo, I'm sure, somewhere, because that is not what I was trying to accomplish, obviously. So let's delete that, delete image. We would get our guy back, and then we would just um, put this over here. And sometimes it's just working things around, um, how you want stuff to be. 
right? So that did, that did that fine. Maybe we can't put it, see as soon as we, we move it up, it kind of eats it. So it's easy to get frustrated, but try not to, right? You just have to work within what they have. Um, we need to scooch this down and move this up. So that is, that is how I would go about making a banner without, I might even crop that a little differently, right? Um, that came out really well. I love that. Okay. And so that's something that I can just upload to Pinterest. And that's something that people would actually, you know, they're looking for. They're looking for new stories to read. Oh, that's excellent. You just click download. Download. Now we got to figure out where it went, right? It hides behind this little thing. So that is how I would make a banner that I would use to direct people to buy my books on Pinterest. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.